this is this is new but it looks nicely for the camera oh my gosh so i look more reliable i want to get good grades over for gcse's literally in 43 days and i know it's just so so am i but i'm gonna get through this together and i have a whole entire script of how this easter you are gonna have an academic comeback and go from twos to threes to seven to eight in this holiday so i'm just i'm not going to waste time I'm just gonna go straight into it so first of all like i know you want to get good grades you know like study 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 but you need to have a balance for your revision this whole entire time you can't wake up at seven o'clock and be revising until 12 and you know only have one hour to eat and then go back and then be revising like no that is not sustainable that is not healthy it's not going to help you get good grades all it's going to do is make you bent out and tired make you feel like you've done something when you really have not so you need to have a balance you need to not literally not spend all your time revising and you need to prioritize your mental health or over getting good grades because if you damage your mental health for getting good grades when you get the good grades it won't even feel good anymore because you're like was it really worth going through that sacrifice to get these grades just to get a number on a piece of paper so like, you need to prioritize your mental health number one if you know you can't do it don't do it you need to do other things like don't you know, like i said don't always spend your time revising like find a new hobby to pick up this easter like make it exciting like and then if you're not revising don't always spend your time on your phone during your breaks because at the same time you just all that stuff like knowledge you started acquiring you're just going to go, start going brain dead when you go on tiktok and go on instagram so do something that helps keep your brain stimulated you know go read a book do a hobby go outside and get some fresh air because i know this solo day a lot of us year 11s and year 13s and we stuck at home revising but get some fresh air go outside so you don't feel like you're going crazy to create a original timetable for the next two weeks okay so monday tuesday wednesday thursday this is what i'm gonna do but the thing is yeah this is a crucial point don't add times to it don't be like at o'clock in two weeks time on a thursday i want to revise at this time because you never know what's going to happen that day you cannot predict so what you should do is just do the subject you, you want to do but not the times so that no matter what happens i know a lot of people like me like if you say you're going to do something just like at a certain time and you don't get it done by that certain time you just don't want to do it anymore so what i suggest you do is just pick the subject you want to do for that day so then that that way you're not tied down to a certain time and you can just do whatever you want but as long as you get it done on that day because i'm not going to school anymore and you know like you don't have to wake up at 6 a.m anymore and go to bed by 10 o'clock a lot of people mess up our night routines morning routines on our sleep schedules but create a morning and night routine when you wake up this is what you're going to do what time are you going to roughly start revision be like okay i'm going to wake up around 7 to 9 a.m start revision at 10 like make it consistent because the way you get successful is by being consistent and the reason why you're good in school is because you consistently wake up the same day go to bed at the same time but if you fall into a like routine where you're waking up at 1 p.m in the easter holidays and go to bed at like 2 a.m like you're gonna mess up and then how do you think you're gonna rise efficiently if you don't have a good morning routine you can't wake up and start revising straight away you need to wake up have some breakfast work out get some fresh air read meditate journal pray make sure you get those fundamentals out of the way so you don't feel like your whole entire life is based around studying because it's just not so you still and then when you get to studying you'll feel better because you'll be like okay i'm all ready i don't think i need to do this morning i can revise in peace without thinking oh my god i forgot to do this oh my god i forgot to do that and then when you have a night routine make sure it's nice and calm and relaxed you know reward yourself for revising during the day and having being productive so make sure it's nice calm wind downs watch morning routines watch night routines i have some go watch them if you want so it can inspire you to have good night routines so it can elevate you for the next day I have a to-do list every single day i have a to-do list this is my to-do list as you can see just make it on a simple post-it note just write everything down you need to do and then you know what's so satisfying about to do this is that crossing it out feels so good because you're like oh my god like i made this two hours ago and i finished everything now so make to do this every single day make it the night before in the morning when, or whenever it doesn't really matter when you make it but make sure you make a to-do list so you have a clear plan so like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that because a lot of people when they get to revising they just don't know what they want to do so they're so confused so when you have to do this everything is really clear make it fun like don't make revisions seem so tedious and so hard so stressful think about the present now i know gcse is a matter of days away but 
think about the process because in one year's time in the summer you're gonna think back and be like oh my god remember i used to write every single day to so make it fun listen to music create a nice ambiance to your rising light some candles you know have some nice lighting change up your environment don't always if you rise in your room don't always rise in your room maybe go to your dining room maybe go to your living room maybe go to a library maybe go to a park because that way you make revision a lot more fun for you and like you get to go outside and go new places so you're experiencing things while you're revising so you're basically doing a two in one you know what i mean most different places also help with your memory so when you think back on when you went to the library and when you went back into the park also like the smell of coffee like it will help remind your brain because it makes like psychological things in your brain so it helps you like remember stuff more easier have clear goals of what you want to achieve your gcses or your a levels or whatever make sure you have clear goals to be like i want to get this grade i want to get that grade so you know exactly what you're aiming for because you just want to be shooting in the dark like you want to know exactly where you're shooting so make sure you have a very clear goal of what you want to achieve i recommend that you revise max like six times a week with a one day break and that's quite a lot but you go to school for five days a week anyways and most of us revise on the weekends as well and we're not going to school this week so it's fine but yeah that's what i recommend make sure you have that one day break or a day where you don't do as much revision as you do to do the other days i say revise for three hours minimum a day three hours each subject because around people do like 10 subjects so if you do three hours each subject that means you've done all your subjects in of like four days and if you do that for the whole entire holiday you've gone over your subjects like four or five times or like two or two or three times or so i say three hours minimum and like five hours six hours maximum because if you do six hours you're basically just going through your school day as if you would really go to school so you wake up at i don't know eight o'clock seven o'clock start at nine th finish at three so that would be a very effective way to revise because you're basically still in the mood of like going to school and like it doesn't like, and then when you get back to school it doesn't like throw off your whole entire sleep schedule morning routine and so on so what i do especially on weekends and like days where i don't have school so i space out my revision so make sure I do a lot more so let's say I wake up really early and from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock I do two hours of revision one hour break then two o'clock to four o'clock I do two hours of revision and then break and then from five o'clock to six o'clock five o'clock to seven o'clock I do another two hours of revision so that's six hours of revision I've done in a day but to me it doesn't feel like I've done a lot because I've spaced it out so if you space out your revision and when you start really early like you'll be like oh my god I've done like seven hours of revision today but it doesn't feel like I've done that much because you spaced it out and make sure you have a lot of breaks in between and your breaks were long and then when you're on your break make sure you spend it doing something fun and not just going on your phone because if you just spend your break going on your phone it doesn't really feel like a break so i recommend you do a space out revision it also helps with a lot of lazy people who have like not very like long attention spans because you get a lot of revision done but you're not doing you're not sitting down in a chair for six hours straight doing revision the actual revising and revising methods i recommend you watch youtube videos like go on the internet such as stuff there's so much stuff out there that can really help you and just know that getting grade nines and grade eights are not that hard like the people that are getting grade eights and grade nines are using the same revision materials as you and they have the same like there's no secret code or secret method like the internet is endless like whatever they use to get their grade nines you can use them too if they did past papers past papers are endlessly on the internet for you, you can find them anywhere i know part of the video but things i recommend you to revise with is make flashcards on anki anki is so good guys like you it helps with active recall so well and like it makes you forces you to revise stuff that you don't want to revise because like i go through anki it's like oh my god this is flipping organic chemistry i hate it i don't want to do it but like you just have to do it because like you have to get through all your cards make my maps make sure all the revision methods that you're doing is active because you don't want to be writing down notes or just teaching yourself the content now now's not the time to teach yourself content now's the time to be revising it and going back over it um so make sure you're making my maps you're making flashcards and you're going over your flashcards and you're just you're testing yourself on it because this is now time time to test yourself learn your gaps and work on your gaps because that's the best way to get good grades you go through past papers look at your specification make sure you know exactly what you need and then that way you're guaranteed for success i wish you guys all the best of luck i hope you get the best grades and i'll see you guys in the next video bye